Hey everybody, it's Matt from the house. I'm here with Jason from Burton and I'm here with Mr. Dave Downing. And uh, he's gonna run us through some split boarding things that he does um, because day one can be a rough day and he's made all the mistakes and learned. So he's gonna help you not make the same mistakes so your day one of split boarding can be really enjoyable. Jason, Dave, thanks for joining us. Um, so right off the bat, split boarding is getting really, really big and it's a great way to actually get out and enjoy the mountain. You can go to, you know, a local hill or a local mountain. You can get out, get some exercise and most importantly, still snowboard and it's free to do once you have all the equipment. So why don't you go ahead and give us a few of your tips and pointers yeah. and the mistakes that people make that can uh, really make that day one a little frustrating. Yeah, you're right, Matt. It's it's such a fun thing to do, you know, split boarding and going out and, and getting in the backcountry or just taking a run off the side of a ski resort or whatever. One misconception people have is they think they're just gonna go out and ride powder all day, but it's actually <laughs> a lot of work, you know, like mm -hmm. you're hiking still. You know, the cool thing about a split board is, is it, you know, it's a snowboard that comes apart and turns into skis basically. Um, you know, skis were invented for transportation in Scandinavia, you know, mm -hmm. that's yep. what skis were. And a snowboard was invented for fun, you know, yeah. <laughs> to have fun <laughs> to go down the hill. So I think it's more you're fun. taking that transportation thing and then, you know, the fun thing and putting it together. Um, that's what a split board is. It basically comes apart, you know, you, you take the, the bindings off, it turns into skis, right? That's ski mode. And it's really easy to just take the bindings, put them like that, and then your free heel skiing up up the hill. What you do is you put, you know, your skins on. If you don't know, these are called climbing skins. Just adhesive on the back that goes on the the base of the the ski, and it glides one way and then grips. So that's what your traction is to go up the hill. One thing I always tell people is to really play around with doing that, like taking your board apart, putting it into ski mode, playing with your skins, knowing how to like put them back together, doing this system at home on the carpet before you go out in the back country and, and get into it. That was one mistake I you know, made was I just kind of went out and started figuring it out and your hands are getting cold and you don't know what you're doing and your skins are you know, getting frozen and stuff. Like I always put my skins in my jacket keep them warm. Um, you want to take care of these, you know, mm -hmm. these are your babies right here. Yeah. If these get too cold or frozen, they're not going to stick to the base as well. And so take care of these, but just do that system over and over again at your house, 50, 60 times, take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together just keep playing with it because the more familiar you get with it, it's easier. And then another point too, I always make is, you know, um, with your stance, actually, let me, let me put this back together. So another key point um, I always tell people is to play around with your stance and get your board mounted at home and then go out and ride it at a ski resort, even though they're not made to be ridden at a ski resort, but riding it at a resort and getting your stance dialed and getting a feel for the board before you go out in the backcountry is, is a good thing to do, you know, because you get more used to it. Because everything is different. Yep. And so you want to you your have bindings, your stance yep. right before, so you don't want your stance off. Exactly. And when you're doing it, something else that's completely foreign. Exactly, so, yeah. for sure. And you already have to take this thing apart, put it back together. You don't want to have one more thing where you got to get a screwdriver out and try to yep. do that in the backcountry. You just right. want to basically get it from ski mode into snowboard right. mode and ride and sit there with a screwdriver dinking around with your stance is definitely not something you want to do and especially yeah. if it's a colder day too you get up to the top and the wind's whipping over the you know top of the hill definitely not something you want to have to take your gloves off for. yeah for sure another point you know that i learned learn from mistakes is you know as you're going up a steeper slope you know you're gonna take these uh fuel risers down you know, that's gonna give you a little more grip on your skin as you're going up. And then a big mistake that people make is they lean forward as they're going up a steeper pitch, you know, and you gotta really trust your skins and really stand on them. So that's one key, I think, mm -hmm. when you're actually skinning up something. And then also, really the terrain, I think, that you're going out in, um, 
it should be pretty mellow, you know, especially for your first few times and as you're getting into it. Go find a nice mellow space. You don't have to go up this big long journey. Mm -hmm. You can just go up by 800 feet or whatever and come down and do that like five or six times, 10 times. The more times you can go down and come down, the more times you're taking this apart and putting it back together and getting used to it. So that's a good learning curve to do, you know? Yeah, you're get, and you're getting used to in ski mode, then you can take it to the bigger level. For sure. And you're not instantly at this huge level trying to figure out how the skis work. For sure. You know, For so. Sure. Yeah, yeah, start slow, like, like yeah. you said, Jason. Just know start, your limitations. Start slow and just build your way up. You know, don't just go out to some big giant peak. Um, that's another thing, you know, definitely is educate yourself. Um, you definitely want to educate yourself. No matter where you live, you want to educate yourself um, whether you're out in av avalanche train or not. You know, take an avalanche safety course. At, know where you're going, like route finding, uh, first aid, all that usually gets covered in an avalanche safety mm -hmm. course. So being educated, is a key thing. And then going out with your friends, you know, going out with a couple buddies and learn together, yeah. you know, and be safe and just start slow. And, and it's a really cool experience for sure. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, clothing? Any uh, suggestions on what to wear? <laughs> Obviously we've got yeah. outerwear and stuff, but you're gonna be hiking, which is going to keep you much, much warmer than when yeah, you're for actually sure. riding too. So what do for you sure. usually use on a daily basis? Yeah, that's a good point, uh, Matt. I um, I always have like a down jacket on. Usually in the morning I'll have a down jacket on underneath my 8K jacket kind of thing. And then as, before I start to go skinning up, I take my down jacket off, put it in my backpack. And I'll take my jacket off and roll it up, stick it on my backpack. Okay. you know on the back of my backpack Strapped and then I'm back. just in like first layer or whatever going up because I know I'm gonna get hot and then as I get to the top one thing I always do is I right when I get there I take my jacket and I put my jacket on because I don't want to get cold you know you're up at the top of the mountain and usually you start getting cold you're sweating mm -hmm. so I try to keep that warmth in me and then you know I put my board back together and get ready to snowboard in the same process every time and yeah like bindings go here this it's you do the same thing every time it's instead huge. of like you got one binding over here. Oh, I got to get this out of my yeah. backpack yeah. or like it's like a junk show. If you don't yeah. have it, you know, uh, systematically yeah. done the same way, I found for myself that I, I lose track of stuff. You know, I, I do it systematically every time. Yeah. Um, so just keep whatever feels comfortable for you. Putting your skins on. You know, putting your poles in your backpack, all that whole thing, like do it the same way every time and it'll save It's almost life. like a pit stop on a race car. Like yeah, they exactly. do the same thing every time and just Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that way it's yeah. That way, like, you have all the boxes checked. For sure. You're ready to go. For and sure. even, like, packing your bag. Yeah, like, packing your bag, I do it the exact same way every time. Yeah, you know? put it like in the I, same spot. Exactly. You know, so you don't have to. I know where everything's at. Through your lunch yeah. to get it or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. The other thing that's good too is when you are packing up your bag is to kind of do some forward thinking and think about when you're, you know, putting your board together, you're yeah. taking it from, you know, from uh, board mode yeah. into ski mode and think about what you're gonna need and make sure that the things that you need first are gonna be packed last so they're gonna be on top. Definitely a great thing to do because again, like you are saying, having that system and doing it the same every time, you're not gonna miss anything yeah. and be riding down the hill and find out that you forgot got to do something that yeah. was really, really important. Yeah, but splitboarding is awesome. It's it's a really, really fun way to enjoy riding powder snow. It doesn't have to be this crazy dangerous thing. It can be, I like really mellow terrain through trees and just super fun, you know? Um, so keep keep it mellow and have a great time at it. And the less hiking you do, the more runs you get. Yeah. Okay, well, so that's some great, great tips. Thanks for giving us those. And uh, we're gonna have some links in the description to our other videos about how to put your board together, how to put your skins on, all of that stuff. Um, but if you've got any questions beyond what we talked about in the video, leave the comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. You know, we want to make sure it gets you into some rad gear, but we want to make sure that you're able to use it properly. And when it comes to split boarding, most important, safely too. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And yeah, no matter whether you're split boarding some little hills or you're going up to some big mountains, um, make sure to grab yourself a set. Get out and enjoy the outdoors and ride, because any day riding is a good day riding.